Wednesday morning, bright and early, heading to Tel Aviv now. A couple of great meetings, including an old friend for lunch. Then I-24, talking about the latest tech developments in Israel and in the world. It's going to be a great day. This week was pretty chill. Yesterday was a fast day. Tomorrow, though, is going to be great. And then the weekend. Love it. Starting the day, meeting my boy Alex here. The guy just opened up a second co-working space. What's the name of your co-working spaces, man? It's called Savona Labs now. Sarona Labs? Yeah. Nice. You're allowed to use Sarona's brand? It's not a problem? Don't think so. All right. Here's the new Tel Aviv Fashion Mall, and we're heading to his co-working space where I might be crashing for the long term. seconds in Tel Aviv, look at the sweat. It's so hot. I'm checking out this new co-working space and it's gonna be crashing here a little bit. So I did the only thing a normal person does when they enter a new office. Decided to test my DJI Spark indoors. Not the most brilliant idea I've ever had. Yeah, the drone made those marks. You know, this whole the whole pitch of this DJI uh, Spark thing is that it's super stable. Not so super stable. Anyway, I tried to, you know, maneuver and move around with the gestures thing and it flew right into the wall. So that kind of bites. That upset me. I think that uh, people are complaining that the gesture mode's a little buggy. It is for me anyway. On another note, I got this super cool gadget, this weird looking thing, Mav Mount. It's to basically drone with an iPad. Instead of just an iPhone, you put this in the controller. Let me show you how it's done. This is the controller of the Spark. Instead of putting a phone here and watching the drone footage with just a phone, put it in for you. There you go. And then you put the iPad here, and then you're flying with the iPad. So you get a lot more screen real estate to see what the drone sees. That's super cool, and it's built like amazing. Super solid steel. It's like 50 bucks, very worth it. And another toy that I just got is this awesome bag for the Spark, which carries pretty much everything. There's my iPad, the Spark, the charger, batteries, the works, I've got it all right here. So that's super cool. I'm quite disturbed with what just happened with the Spark here at the uh, new office. They just told me not to worry about it, but I feel pretty bad. Do not fly the Spark indoors. Now back to work. Now that I have the Mavic and the Spark, a lot of people are asking me which one I prefer. I figured I'd, I'd address the question. So both are phenomenal. Both are technological wonders, especially the Spark. It's just ridiculous, so small. But there are some significant differences. For one, the Mavic takes 4K video and the Spark only 1080, only 1080. But you know, you do see the difference and it's quite significant. Second of all, the batteries on the Spark, 15 minute flight, which is, I mean, for the first size, it's pretty unbelievable, but it's it's tough to get anywhere in 15 minutes. So, you know, the Mavic's 30 minutes battery, each uh, battery lasts 30 minutes of flight. So that's significant, that's a significant difference. Both are equally portable because the Mavic folds up and the Spark doesn't. So it's really, at the end of the day, not much of a difference in terms of size. The only real reason to get the, or two reasons to get the Spark over Mavic. One, the price, it's half the price. Two, it has the cool gestures, but as you just to realize behind me it's not very stable so it's more of like a when you're in like a an event and you want to wow the crowd you do the gesture it's kind of cool you can control like that but uh not something you're going to use often and you can fly the spark without a phone or a controller a mavic you definitely cannot do that so those are the differences at the end of the day if i had to choose one right now putting budget aside i'd definitely choose the mavic if i had limited money i'd choose the spark and you know it's not only that you know the spark is supposed to be like a more of a beginner's drone it's actually not it's actually more complicated to fly than the, than the mavic the Spark, like, you have to jump through hoops to, like, get it connected through, uh, you know, an OTG cable. It's, it's crazy. It's a little more complicated. The Mavic, you plug it in, and you're, and you're flying. So I actually don't think that the Spark is easier. All in all, I like the Mavic better, I think. Now, the Spark is, I, has the more of the wow factor, though, because it's tiny. If I had to choose one, I would definitely choose the Mavic. And there you have it, the abridged version of the Spark versus Mavic DJI drones. That's it. The energy. I missed the energy. My name is Toot. What does Toot mean in, in, uh, in uh, English? Toot means strawberry. So your name is strawberry. My name is let me, strawberry. Let me just it's get this straight. Strawberry. I just want to get to so your name is strawberry. Your name is really strawberry. How long, what, do you remember the first time you met? And like, I literally, I must have asked you that question like 18 times. I just want to get this straight. Your name is strawberry. Like, my name is strawberry. My parents are hippies. 
and they call me Strawberry. That's awesome. So we met actually with a company we were both working with a long time ago. Well, shall remain unnamed because that's not the topic today, but a really cool company we were once working with. I don't even know what happened with you there. I want to hear that story, but that's for another I'll time. I'll tell you after the camera time. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm sitting here in this uh, nice co working space here on what street are we on? Kashmone yes. in Tel Aviv. Okay. And Alex, who you guys met, says, Oh, yeah, and Toot started working here. And I'm like, Toot, Toot? Like, my Toot, the one that I know? And he's like, Yeah. And I'm like, How the heck did you meet Toot? And he's like, Oh, yeah, we've connected a long time ago. Blah, blah, blah. And he's, she met my dad. And I was like, Wow, that's so random. And then I'm like, It's a little strange to me that these two people who I know from two different directions and worlds know each other. So I did the only natural thing and I opened my inbox. And what do I find out? That I actually introduced them. And now she's working full time in this company. That's really cool. Love the way the world works. Now, tell me what you're doing here. What is this place? Where are we? So, first of all, I love the way you work. Thank so, you. that's a start. Oh, Welcome you. to be yeah, so, some many, complimentary things in, in your vlog. How, how, many coffees, <laughs> how many coffees do you have today? One. One. So, you're naturally like this? Yeah. Okay. You know why? I had a company doing uh, children's stuff. We did performances for kids. I was like... Uh, why does that not surprise me? <laughs> I was not, a children's superstore. Not surprising at Seriously. all. Seriously. I'm not surprised. So we are in a space called BNP Spaces. Cool. We're now looking for a new name, so if you have any ideas, we're ideas. happy to, find, to, right. to hear them. Okay. And this space is part of, a, of a, a larger ecosystem. Okay. And what we do is we invest in companies. Okay. Then we give them the entire infrastructure Love it. that they need in order to build up huge companies. We are partially Zionist, so uh, we care for Israel. Yes. And um, most of our partners, they are foreigners that made Aliyah. Okay, they moved to And they, Aliyah. they want to develop the, the, the country, Got basically. It. And then they ask themselves, okay, how can we do that? Mm -hmm. We ask ourselves, how can we develop the How country? insane is her energy? Go on, yes. I can also be calm. No, 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 please. Please don't <laughs> back to yourself, yes. So we ask ourselves, how can we develop the country? And then we came up with basically the decision that the best way to do that is to take companies and to turn these companies, instead of just being technologies that are mm -hmm. being exited to large organizations and move out of the country, right. but rather bring practices and experience and knowledge from places where they actually build large organizations right. that sustain right. and bring these practices to Israel and actually build up mm -hmm. in this country larger organizations Scale. To see more Amdocs, to see more Teva, to see more Checkpoint, because this is eventually what's going to sustain and, and really develop this economy. Because across the world, you have countries that are not developing innovation. So we want to build a sustainable we, scale we ecosystem here. To build a sustainable scale ecosystem. And you just joined this company full time. I joined as a partner. And, uh, oh, you're a partner. I didn't know yeah. that. Congrats. Fist bump. Fist bump. Nice. We're, we're working on the brand name. I like that. And uh, you have a great team. I mean, Alex is great. This guy's great. Say hello. Yeah, this is Rafael. Rafael is hey, amazing. Up, Rafael. Rafael is coming and he understands in money. We only understand in people. So he, we brought him because he knows money. I'm from France. Couldn't tell by the accent at all, by the way. <laughs> I move uh, from Luxembourg to Israel. Love it. I work for uh, HSBC, a private bank. And now I'm really pleased to, to join the team and to work with, uh, with Toot with uh, this great energy. I will never get used to calling a person strawberry. I just want to tell you that. Every time someone says Toot, I can't help it. But do you sure I'm not the only person, all right? I mean, no, it's fine. Do you, you know, know that, that? family name is Shani? Yeah. And Shani means red. I know it. Yeah. So it's a strawberry red. It's red strawberry. So your name is Red Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> tough, tough. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could either like embrace it or like it's, it's, a, it's a tough life. I'm assuming you embraced it. I have to embrace it. But it's also, it's very, it's, it's dangerous. Because what? I'll tell you why. Because when I speak with people, I got used to, since I'm very young. Where's she going with this? Yeah. <laughs> I got used to the fact that they, uh, they think that I'm like crazy thing even before I even speak. Well, then, then you speak and prove them, them right. I love it. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna edit this out a little bit, make it cool, and because this was a long interview. But uh, yeah, so do they give a website that people can check out or not yet? We do have, but we don't want them to go there. Because we don't want we, them to go there. No. It's too early for that. All right, well, don't go there. What's what's your? Can you give your email address so people can contact you if it's relevant for them? Yeah, of course. What's your so email? if you uh, want to speak, uh, we're happy to speak. If you want to speak about people and uh, random stuff. Uh, you can contact me, that's toot.chani uh, at savona.pc And if you want to speak about money, that's him T-O-O-T dot S-H-A-N-I Yes At savona.vc Yes And R-E R-A-P-H-A-E-L Benadman, B-E-N-A-D-M-O-N at savona.vc Okay, Rafael Benadman at savona.vc Contact them, you're going to be investing a lot of money soon You're going to yes. be helping companies beyond the money It's kind of cool, we need it Good luck guys, own it. There's a beautiful automobile downstairs. I'm unclear if it's an Aston Martin or a Jaguar. Leaning towards Jaguar, but either way it's beautiful. Check it. As always, parking in Tel Aviv was not fun. 
parked in the parking lot of the art museum here in Tel Aviv, heading to Mitos to meet Israel Blackman right now. Ex-Microsoft, serial entrepreneur, marketer. We're gonna consume some meat. It's been a while. Who are you? Fly. Israel Lechman. This guy is a marketing legend. Give me some background. Where'd you work? Where'd you start your career? You started at Blink. At Blink? Yes. Israel's like first it? content marketing agency. Is that true? The first one? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, a, that's respect. Yeah. Now there's like 5,000. There's like literally 5,000 digital marketing agencies uh -huh. in Israel. Okay, yeah. and then what? Then moved to Microsoft Israel. Microsoft Israel. We did what? We did some cool stuff there. I did a lot of cool stuff there. Some of them were with you. I headed the digital marketing department. Really? That was your official role there? That was my official role. In all of Microsoft Israel? All of Microsoft Israel. Eventually I was responsible for Microsoft Cloud product in the Israeli market. So let me get this straight. Are you more technical or more marketing? I'm both. I have technical background. Today I'm mostly marketing, only marketing. You, have a, you do have a technical I, background. Yeah, I do. So you were there for how long at, in uh, Microsoft? I was there for five years. Wow. Uh, won six excellence prizes, global prizes. You made me a really cool drawing one time. What's that about? It was now. It, nowadays it's called ABM. Let me see if I can find that. Just to, okay. keep, keep talking. I'm, I'm going to look for it if I can find that. Um, today it is called ABM. It's yeah. a digital campaign which are very personalized. We wanted to promote a certain very. Look at that. That's what he made for me. Awesome. Okay, go on. The idea was to promote and get the uh, attention of high-ranked IT pros, influencers like yourself. Wow, Microsoft uh, calls you an influencer, that's... <laughs> yeah. All right. Today, I help startups, companies, and enterprises build their digital marketing engine. Boom, I love it. So you help companies, not with the fluff, not with... You actually help them get from point A to point B and actually build their businesses, scale, quantity, to find real, yeah, as exactly. the same Hebrew, talkless. Practical stuff, you get it done. Yeah. Love it. But let's just say he works with one super hot company in 3D space, and he's gonna hook a brother up with some 3D, 360 cameras. I'm excited about that. More to come, and you'll be seeing about it on the vlog. Full shizzle. I just said full shizzle, I'm not sure why. <laughs> but anyway, that steak was incredible. Yeah, it's good for Yeah, you. it was amazing. First time here at Mitos. Can you believe that? What's going on? We gotta get you back here. Anyway, we got some awesome service, got some awesome food. Now I'm gonna turn this thing off, because we gotta end it, and I'm going to I-24. See you soon. to Jaffa to I-24. I'm going on the air, live TV, in 40 minutes from now. So what am I doing here so early, you ask? Check it. What's better than that? That and a DJI Spark. I'm going droning.
having way too much fun droning. I'm going live in eight minutes. And I'm gonna get there all sweaty and I'm not gonna be putting on makeup because it's too rushed. Talking about Apple's quarterly results, Apple's iPhone 8 or 10, whatever it's called, and Vic Kundatra, the senior, ex-senior VP engineering at Google, going public saying that iPhones have better cameras than Andro Android phones. It's gonna be an interesting segment today, but I'm in a super rush. Big news in the world of Apple and Fiverr, and here with the latest in tech news is technology expert and startup advisor, Hello Fold. The stock is up 6% yesterday. Their revenue's through the roof. Their net income's through the roof. We got net income of 8.72 billion dollars. They have a very strong brand and people are very excited when they announce new things. So, you know, the people start digging into their code and finding all kinds of secret things. And, you know, now that they found, they found or discovered in the code where they um, allude to uh, facial recognition instead of the uh, touch ID, because now it's going to be an end to end screen. Okay. No bezels. So there's no room for touch ID, the uh, fingerprint sensor, a scanner. So now it's going to recognize your face. I'm using the iPhone 7 Plus with the uh, portrait mode and I have every Android phone on the market at home. Some of them do great things after you take the picture with software, they make it pop more. But if you're looking at pure photography in terms of just showing the picture as is in real life, I'm of the opinion that the iPhone 7 Plus still leads the way. And right. I'm being very careful here. I, right. I do think But you that, know, but you've, you've tested it yourself. Yeah, while so you are, is you're a consumer as much as an yeah, expert. This, so, this still so does know. lead the way, I think. All right, awesome. Well, thanks, hello. Done. No. Sweating like crazy. Must drink. It is inhumanely hot in Jaffa. Every week when I walk to my car, like it's an, maybe a six minute walk, and it is just so damn hot. But anyway, the segment went well, talked a lot about Apple and about Android. It was good. You know, for weeks, I've been telling you that big news is coming with Prove, the company I'm advising, the company I go to every Tuesday, Prove.io. You know, I keep telling you, big news coming. Yeah, this just happened. Boom, see you tomorrow.